Man, I used to run into so many problems in the agency. And I was running around with like a, like a chicken with my head cut off. All, you know, you have 100 emails that come in. You have clients that come in. You have a team that needs that needs you on the fly, and it can get very stressful. And I remember thinking, how do you juggle all this stuff? Insurance dudes are on a mission to escape being handcuffed by our agencies. How? By uncovering the secrets to creating a predictable, consistent, and profitable agency sales machine. I am Craig Pretzinger. I am Jason Feldman. We are agents. We are insurance dudes. And, and so what I want to talk to you about today is how to solve problems. This is very important and it's very uh, basic, but there's a way to help your team solve more problems so that you don't have to. So let's talk about this first. And we've talked about this before on the pod, but all of our team should not come to us with a problem that they have not tried to solve. The first question that I have to my team, if they bring me a problem, is what have you done to solve this problem? And it better be more than one thing. They Not just, I tried this and then I stopped and I asked you. No, no, no. We want to empower them to learn how to find solutions because most of this stuff is trivial and it can really pull you out of your day to day and, you know, you get lost in the weeds. As soon as you get pulled in that direction, you don't see the forest for the trees. You can't make the big decisions that matter in your agency. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to figure out what are the objectives? What are the objectives, the reoccurring objectives that we have in our agency like sales? So if you are an agent that needs to sell, the first thing that you need to be thinking about is, What's a process that we should have, right? What's the process? It can't just be no process. Otherwise, you're going to be having problems all the time, right? So we know that if we have to sell in our agency, we need a process. Okay, what are the big parts of a sales process, right? How do we, well, first it's leads, something, I don't care if you're doing walk-ins or you're going to the Chamber of Commerce or you're buying leads, it doesn't matter, right? But you do need people to talk to. So that's part of it, right? That's part of the process. So then we need to figure that part out. And then we need to figure out, well, what what the heck, uh, wh- wh- what do we have? Like, like, what is our unique selling proposition? What do you have as an agency that's the difference? It can't be just the policy, right? It's got to be something else. There's a bunch of agents with policies, <laughs> like figure out your offer. And so since we know these parts, we have to look at it scientifically. So we know we need leads. We know we need an offer. We need to figure out how we position that. And let's put it into a document that we call a script. Then we have a script. I don't care if the script sucks. But have something because we know that we have to sell. We know that we have to hire people. We know that somebody's going to quit at some point. We know we're going to hire somebody at some point. So why not have the document, right? Everything is scientific if you want to improve it. Meaning this, you have to use the scientific method. So we have to, and in order to do that, we have to do something consistently. Otherwise, there's no way we can measure and improve. There's no way to know if this works or that works. If we're based off of feelings, I'm going to let you know something. Your feelings suck at telling the the truth. My feelings, man, one day I'll feel like, man, this this sucks. Like everything sucks. Some days I wake up and a few things can go wrong and I feel like everything sucks. Is that the truth? No. You can get beat up by a client on the phone. And you're just like, oh, this is the worst. And then does that mean this is the worst? No, you have to readjust, take yourself out of it. But but we need to do stuff consistently to know if something works because we want to look at it mathematically, not emotionally. And that's the difference between uh, an expert and you know somebody who's just dabbling, a dabbler. And you're not a dabbler, are you? 
So what's the scientific method? We make an observation. So the observation is sales, right? Or let's, let's say that we're doing the script. Next step, we do the research. We research what are some of the key elements that I need in, in this script, right? Then make a hypothesis. I bet if I said this, 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 this is here, it's going to work. And then we test it and then we report back and we tweak it. Now, I'm saying this with a script because this is what we've talked about in the past. We know this, but you can use this for any part of the agency. Anything that you're going to do over and over and over again in the agency should have this type of element. We need to observe what needs to happen. Okay, this, this is the observation. I believe this. We research around it because we want to use data. We want to see everybody has done something that you're trying to do, right? And what happens? Success leaves clues. So look at successful people. Look at what they've done. Follow the process. You can tweak the process later. Oh, but I feel like this would work better. You've never done it before or you've never, you might've tried, you might've dabbled, but this person is successful. Do it this way until it works like it does for them and then tweak it, okay? So let's observe it. Let's research it. Let's have our own hypothesis on it, right? Let's test it and then let's go back report on it, figure it all out, look at the data, and then let's tweak it, and then let's do it again. I mean, this is how things get better. If we could just have a 1% every single day, if your agency got 1% better, the compounding interest over time is phenomenal. And it doesn't take much. Uh, like, there's only so much that, that we're doing that on a recurring basis in the agency. And there's only so many things that's going to have a big uh, needle moving improvement on our agency. So take those things. Let's start a process, right? Let's improve the process. Let's care about the process and let's get better. Things that have focus can get better. I, I swear, it's, just, it's like this. Who's ever had this happen in their agency? You tell somebody to do something, and, you know, you don't really have a process and you kind of forget about it. And two months later, three months later, you follow up with the person and it's totally forgotten about. Oh, we, we don't even uh, call that list anymore. We don't do this anymore. Right. This kind of this is what happens. And then we get, oh, well, why didn't you follow? Because come on, you as the agency owner didn't act like you cared. Why would they act like they cared? Right. So. That's why take these things. What's the most important things that we have to do in the agency? Let's make that process. Let's get everybody used to this, the, the, the scientific method of the way to improve stuff. Man, if you think about anything that, that you've ever done in life, it takes a while to get better. But if you continually uh, tweak, you continue continually to do, uh, do it, even if it, even if it's not that good, like even if you barely dabble, but you're consistent with it, it will improve, right? Cause consistency trumps intensity. And most of the time we go into something intense, like we're going to, we're going to make this better today. We're going to do this today. Right. But most of the time it doesn't work that way. Why? Because it's like leads. It's like, I don't know if these leads are going to be good for at least a month or two or three, because we know that this, the cycle is three to six months, right? So it's really important that we're looking at things at the long term, that we're looking at things like, like we're running enough tests to make data-driven decisions. And this is how to solve problems in your agency. And guess what? The problems start going away. The problems are, are, are not something that you stress out over because you have a process on how to solve these things. So I hope that helps. I'm Jason. This is uh, Insurance Dudes. <laughs>